हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिविल जेस्ट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज फेज डायग्राम ऑफ सोइल द टॉपिक इज हियर फेज डायग्राम ऑफ सोइल लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक एंड अंडरस्टैंड द कांसेप्ट लेट्स इमेजिन वी हैव अ ग्लास इन व्हिच इन व्हिच अ सैंपल ऑफ सोइल इज प्लेस्ड आई कैन ड्रॉ द डायग्राम हियर लेट्स हैव अ ग्लास इन व्हिच वी प्लेस आवर सोइल सैंपल दिस इज आवर a uh, soil sample soil can be any gravel sand or clay but this is our soil sample now next if we draw the diagram separately of the soil portion on the soil portion then we can say that this is like this kind of diagram this is like this kind of diagram now one thing you know that there is a there is a glass in which soil sample is placed then we can say that there are some voids or the empty spaces present inside the structure of the soil these empty spaces are called the voids empty spaces are called the voids as i am drawing this structure this portion of the soil you so you can see that these red are the soil particles these red are the Uh, the soil particles are denoted by these red circles but you also can see that there are vacant spaces between the soil there are vacant empty spaces between the soil and these are called as voids voids so basically the so the, there are a, there are a lot of voids there are a number of voids in between our soil particles and due to the presence of voids when we drop water into the soil then our wa water penetrates into the soil and the process of seepage and permeability occurs so basically the water when the soil allows the water to pass through it then basically it is due to the presence of voids because the soil part because if only there is soil particles and no voids exist then no water can pass through the soil structure so but because of the presence of voids the water can pass and we have the pro process of seepage and permeability so here in this diagram i am showing that there are a number of voids between the soil particles next we draw the phase diagram of the soil that a how can the different phases of the soil and how can we classify the soil on the basis of phase diagram friends next you can see that here is our glass of soil sample here is our this is our glass with soil sample next we have drawn the diagram of soil portion this is our soil portion here we have shown this as a sectional piece as a cross sectional and here our red circles are soil solids and you can say that soil particles these are basically our soil particles and between them our voids exist or voids can be filled with air and water and there can be two mediums in the in the voids between the soil particles which can be air and water in the soil structure so let's consider the two cases first of all that first of all we have a soil solid and our voids are filled with air so basically here i have drawn a diagram in which we are showing that showing the partially where in partial diagram of in which soil solid exist and on the upper side in the voids our air exist so here you can see that here i have mentioned that it is this portion by vv and this portion vs here vv is the volume of voids vv is the volume of voids and similarly in the bottom side we have seen the vs vs is the volume of soil solids it is basically the actually soil particles volume of soil solids so next if we see on the right hand side then here you can see that we have the denotation of w here w v weight w is our weight so basically what this diagram is representing that here a, there is no water and in the in the void the voids are filled with the air here you can see that v v the volume of voids is equal to volume of air means and the air is filled in the void so basically all the the volume the air occupies is the volume of our void so we can write that v a v a v a means volume of air v a means volume of air is equal to v v v v so basically we have this equation in our this case 
so v a is equal to v v and similarly we can say that if we talk about the weight of the voids then weight of the uh, as the air weight of the air and weight of the air is zero therefore we have no weight in case of the air as and we can write that w v w v which is weight of voids is equal to zero because air has no weight we can step therefore w v is equal to zero so you can remember that v a is equal to v v vo vo volume of air is equal to volume of voids so this is all about the first case in this diagram basically what this diagram is known as dry soil this is the graphical representation of the dry soil because it has no co moisture content its moisture content and degree of saturation which are the other terms is equal to zero and therefore we have the the graphical representation of dry soil next we will move towards the second diagram here you can see that if we remove the air if we fill all the voids with all the voids with water we fill the water inside the soil structure and the water fills all the void spaces when the water fill when the water fills all the void spaces between this soil uh, between between these soil voids then our this diagram exists then at the bottom we mention soil solids and in the above diagram above phase diagram we know that there is only water now in this case there is completely air at the top side but in this case there is water so basically all the air is replaced by water so basically this is a saturated soil this is known as saturated soil as it is up to the saturated point of the water filling so next we can see that as the water has some volume therefore volume of voids this is volume of voids which is equal to volume of water so volume of water is equal to volume of voids but here volume of air is equal to volume of voids similarly w weight of water weight of water the weight of voids is equal to weight of water because there will be some weight of water which is filled in the void spaces there will be some weight not like the air that it is weightless water is consist of some weight therefore we have w v is equal to w w now we can refer this it is as it is as a dry soil and it is fully a fully saturated soil because it is in the all the air is replaced by the water so friends here is our dry soil phase diagram and here is our fully saturated soil as it is completely deprived completely there is no water therefore there is there is no moisture content therefore we know we know as it has dry soil and in this case as it is all the air is replaced by the water and the voids are fully saturated with water therefore we call them call it as a fully saturated soil now next thing one one thing note that when whenever we draw the phase diagram first of all we know that this is the phase diagram basically all these are the phase diagram the soil these are the phase diagram because there are the different phases which this diagram is representing phases means the components of the soil these this diagram is representing therefore we call them call it as a phase diagram and one thing to notice that uh, always we write volume in the left hand side and weight in the right hand side so therefore there it, there it is a particular notation that when we draw the phase diagram we write on the volume on the left side and the weight on the right side now we have discussed about the dry soil and the fully saturated soil next thing we have to discuss these are all the uh, notation that vv is equal to volume of voids wv weight of voids vs volume of soil solid and these are weight of the soil solid these are our soil solids soil solids or solid soil grains now next thing and the last thing is our is our this diagram you can see that here there are two phases in this diagram in this diagram therefore both these diagrams are our two phase diagram both these diagrams are our two phase diagram but in this diagram there are three phases therefore we can refer it as a three phase diagram therefore we can call this these are our two phase diagram two phase diagram and and it is our three phase diagram this diagram is our three phase diagram now we discuss that three phase diagram now you can see that this is our dry soil this is our fully saturated soil and this is partially saturated soil partially because it is partially filled with air and partially filled with water as you can see that our voids voids are partially filled with 
worlds are partially filled with water and partially filled with air so we can say that in this kind of soil we partially seeps the water partially allow the water to uh, to completely fill the voids and partially the air is filled in the voids so basically these are the three phases air, first of all our air second is our water and in the last we have the soil solids or soil particles or soil grains so this is our three phase diagram so basically what we can call that it is our two phase there are two two phase diagram and one three phase diagram and this is dry soil, fully saturated soil, partially saturated soil, and these are all the graphical representation. If we further talk about, talk about volume and weight in all three cases, then you can see that volume is volume, total volume. If we talk about the total volume, Vt is equal to volume of soil solids because soil solids are present in all the three cases and plus volume of voids. Because actually our soil sample, our this soil sample is made up of two things. If there are two two components, first is our voids and second is our soil solids. Therefore, total volume is the combination of two things. Similarly, our weight will be the combination of Vt is equal to Wv, Ws plus Wv, weight of solids plus weight of voids. So in this case, as our weight of voids is weight of weight of air therefore our vs plus va we can write that vs plus va but in this case if we talk about the weight then weight of uh, weight of air weight of voids or weight of air is equal to zero therefore only the weight of solids is the weight total weight weight of solids is the total weight wt is equal to ws and in second thing if we discuss about this then you can see that vt is equal to vv plus vs here vv is the vv is the volume of water volume of water so it remains as it is vt is equal to vw plus volume of solids so basically it is the sum of volume of water plus volume of solids and the last we also see it in the part in the case of part first and now next we see the weight case if we talk about the weight wt is equal to w it will be ww because water has its own weight and ws solids so in both cases the com there will be the combination of solids volume and solid weight and solids weight and our water weight so this is our case equation in the case of the weight now if we talk about the partially saturated soil then in this case our volume will be vt is equal to vv plus vs and here vt is equal to in this case you can see that vt is equal to vv plus vs and in this we have the volume of air plus volume of water plus volume of solids because there is partially saturated soil and water and air both are present in the case of volume but if we discuss its case in water in weight then wt is equal to w a plus w w weight of water plus w s soil solids but you know that weight of air is zero there is no weight of air no weight of air therefore we cancel it and w t is equal to weight of water plus weight of solids so this is the diagram this is the equation in the case of partially saturated soil this is the weight equation and this is our volume equation in case of partially saturated soil total volume equation so all this if we sum up it we have seen the volume total volume equations in all these three phases and total weight equation in all these three phases dry soil fully saturated soil and partially saturated soil and if we sum up the whole lecture then we have uh, we have seen that there is a sample of soil and we have shown that sample of soil consists of the voids and the soil grains it is basically the combination of voids and the soil grains and in the voids there can be of water and air and or both so in on the basis of this we classify the soil and on the basis of this voids we classify the soil on the in the dry soil fully saturated soil and partially saturated soil and then and then we see the volume of what volume equations and the weight equation in all these three cases and basically this is the graphical representation of the two phases of the diagram therefore all these are the ref are referred as phase diagram on the soil so hope guys 
the if the concept of the phase diagram will be clear and uh, if you like my video then kindly subscribe my channel we will meet in next video thank you and allah hafiz